Hello everyone, it's the Cloud Apps Tutor and today we're working on Google's My Maps. So I'll show you first the assignment that students are, oh I already have it open here. So students are going to try to plot all of the locations of some of these major earthquakes from history. And then if we get that far we'll move on to some of the active volcanoes. And then if we get that far we're going to plot some of these major mountain ranges. So to do this, instead of trying this on a paper map, we're going to try something different first, and that is Google My Maps. So the URL is google.com slash maps. I, I would actually just Google My Maps to find it. So that's a little bit different than Google Maps. So if you're on Google Maps, you're not quite at the right place yet. But our first step after we get to Google My Maps is to create a new map. So let's do that. Okay, so here is our map and it shows North America to start. And to title this, it's always good if we have a title that matches the assignment. So I will call this Mapping Earthquakes and Volcanoes. Mapping Earthquakes and Volcanoes. Whoops. <coughs> Does volcanoes have an E? I always forget. All right, let's. Oh, it does. Whoops. Okay. Bit of a typo there. Oh, and it redlined. Okay, so we have that figured out. So for this first layer, I think I'm doing this right. Let's call this major earthquakes. Major earthquakes. So we've got our layer. Okay, so I have my map and I've called the first layer major earthquakes and I know it gives me that option to import places to this layer. That's actually a feature that I would like to experiment with. That would be interesting to import all of these locations from a CSV file. But we're going to keep it a little simpler and just try finding these locations one at a time for today. So. The first one is 1906 in San Francisco, California. Let's see if we can locate that. So San Francisco. There it is. And let's add to map. So I'm going to click this feature, add to map. And you can see it appeared over here, San Francisco, and it lets me change the color. So I think earlier I said, yeah, let's leave all of the earthquakes as blue. I'm okay with that. And I'm just curious, does it let me add any information to San Francisco? Because I want to put somewhere here, uh, yes, um, 1906 earthquake. Okay, so hopefully that shows up when I click on that pin. And let's keep adding more locations. So the next one is Tokyo, Japan, 1923. And I wish this list showed us uh, the size of the earthquake on the Richter scale, but it does not. So we can look those up later. So how do I add, I think I just type in Tokyo. Uh, Tokyo Fish Market, <laughs> Tokyo, Japan, there we go. So I'll add that to my map. Okay, this is actually going a little better than I thought. So we're. We'll add in the edit button, we'll add the information that it's from the 1923 earthquake. Okay, so I've got San Francisco and Tokyo. And let's go back to our list. Now we have a city, Quetta, or Quetta, Pakistan. Pakistan. And the goal, of course, of this activity is to sort of unfold some patterns in all of these locations. When we zoom out and we look at the big map, what do these locations have in common? So this one occurred in 1935. You having some luck? Okay. Let's add a few more. Concepcion, Chile. 
Chile. Add to map. And uh, if I hit that edit button, I can add the information. 1939 earthquake. Now it actually gives us the opportunity to add pictures. That would be interesting, but it would make this assignment a little bigger. So we won't do that right now. Let me just see what that would look like though. Google image search. Conception Chile earthquake. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want to just throw any of these in randomly because they don't necessarily correspond with 1939. Oh. I would say let's hold off on the pictures. I'm kind of exploring right now to see how easy it is. Yes. Yeah. So uh, just before I, I end my video, I've done four locations and I hear some cries for help. So I will stop the video soon. But as I zoom out, I should see all of these earthquakes plotted on my map. I'm not sure if I should say my my map or that just sounds weird. So I'll just call it my map. And I'm not. Okay, save. There we go. Close. So. One thing we're seeing already. Oh, no, we're not. We're not seeing that yet. So we've got, which one is this? Tokyo, San Francisco. And notice they light up over here on the left side. Concepcion and the Pakistan, okay, Quetta. Okay. So for now, we're not adding the pictures. I think that would sort of, that's something we can do when we're all finished if we want. But I'm actually more interested in adding the information about the size of the earthquake. I'm going to leave my screencast video here for now. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And maybe one more thing I will mention. I'm not, I'm not finished earthquakes yet, but when I do, I will start a new layer right here for volcanoes. Volcanoes. And I can make these, should be able to make these locations a different color. Etna, Italy. Let's just plot one location for volcanoes. And let's make this red. Red. Okay, so again, hope that's helpful. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing your my maps.